as a child i was generally very good in science and uh, uh, mathematics especially algebra and zoology this is because my mother was a science teacher when when i was young and uh, my father always wanted me i should become a medical doctor because i have liking for zoology which is more like life you know then i told my dad dad i wanted to become a scientist in chemistry and then after coming to chemistry i never looked back I mean, usmania university chemistry department is fabulous then it so happened in chemistry department in dr amara from ncl pune came to hyderabad uh, it was in 1984 85 kind of a time and uh, he gave a fabulous lecture on how to make new chemicals in the lab and i said okay this is the place i should go for a phd now the motto of our research is affordable health for all we try to make simpler chemicals which are available at very cheap price in the market put them together and make complex molecules and see how biology responds to these chemicals and then we try to make some drugs out of those chemistry when you look at uh, the cost of medicines especially in the west if you look at even insurance companies can't afford to pay to the people then and india has been a country where we have been making drugs by copying the western world drugs at the cheaper price i thought i should work somewhere in the middle i don't want to be a copycat but at the same time i don't want to make drugs very expensive so i wanted to make a balance and then uh, we started making two programs one early drug discovery which is our passion because we are very good in natural product research so we try to get new chemicals from the natural sources and test them for various activities also many times you know we get chemicals from marine sources they are very scarce you get like half a milligram or a quarter milligram and they are not available for us to screen them so we thought we should make in the lab now using simpler chemicals we start making them and started screening those molecules so that's how we started working on the early drug discovery and then we of course continue to do the reverse engineering we call so someone discovers a drug but we try to somehow overcome the patent and make that molecule with cheaper chemicals so that it's available to african population or indian population cheaper price so bedaquilin i have a very special affection if i want i want to call it uh, it's a new drug discovered uh, in the west for the treatment of tuberculosis today if you look at tuberculosis there are old drugs and now the bug is getting resistance so bedaquilin is a drug which could be given to patients who get uh, resistance to the existing drugs and then how to reduce the time span you know when someone gets tuberculosis they have to be on the medication for almost a year so we thought we should do something in this area so that is one of the uh, driving forces which which forced me to take up the synthesis of bedaquilin there are no drugs which cure cancer almost especially in the case of breast cancer and stuff like that so uh, there is a marine natural product uh, which was accidentally found to be the best drug for the treatment of cancer and uh, there's only one company in Japan which is called Isai Pharmaceuticals is able to make and sell in the world and this drug is going off patent in 2017 so we thought this is something most challenging natural product if i can use the simplest chemicals available in the laboratory and put them together and make this drug which is called erebolin mesylate and if i could make it by 2017 i think my whole dream is fulfilled sustainable chemistry as all of us you know i think is is very critical today so we need to replace some of those chemicals which cause hazard to the nature especially solvents like chloroform which deplete the ozone and we found that polyethylene glycol which is a polymer we thought if we can use the low molecular weight polyethylene glycol as a solvent and do some reactions we could avoid a lot of the stuff it's a great gesture on on the part of the trustees and founders of the infosys science foundation that very magnanimously they initiated this this effort i think we feel more elevated that yes my work even is recognized by people of the stature and people who are working would look at this award okay i mean one day i should get this award i'm sure and then they start doing better the biggest attribute is passion to do science so as long as you have passion to do research you are aware of social problems in your research how you could tackle the social problems using your knowledge and research i think these two plus 
no substitute for hard work.